Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you something that's super powerful and very important. I'm going to show you how you can create new commands inside the turtle object, which will make your programs much simpler and make turtle more powerful. So let's start this way. Uh, open up one of your existing turtle programs that you know works. So here I've got main, it's creating my turtle and it's just going forward and I know this works. Um, let's create a new class that we can use to do our testing. So I'm going to select main, I'm going to hit control C to copy it, and control V to paste, and I'm going to call it command test. So I've created command test here, I will double click it. And then the last step is when I run this file, I don't want it to run main, I want it to run commands test, so I've got to type commands test here because this has to match the name of the class that I just made. All right, so if we've done that much, uh, we know it's going to work. I told you before that turtle is something that I made. It's not part of Java. Um, and this turtle.java right here, this is like the blueprint that the computer uses to understand what is a turtle and how should it work. So go ahead and double click turtle. And then I want to be able to look at these two things side by side. So grab the turtle tab and sort of drag it, like click and drag, and you should see that it's letting me set up several different windows. So you want to be able to have them be side by side like this. Um, if you mess your display up completely, you can always go to Window, Perspective, Reset Perspective, and it will change it back. Um, you can try again. All right, so actually I want Command Test on the left-hand side. All right, here we go. So when you say yurtle.forward, Here's what the computer actually does. The computer says, all right, they want to run the forward command. How do we do that? It knows that yurtle is a turtle object, so it goes to turtle.java, because that's the blueprint for turtles, and it will scan down until it finds the forward command. You can see the forward command right here, where it says public void forward. So in other words, whenever this command runs, what it's actually doing is jumping to here and it's running all this code that's inside the forward command. All right, well, you don't actually have to understand what the, all this is doing. That's not important for you. But what I do want you to understand is that um, the way turtles work is you describe to the computer the, the commands that they're supposed to have inside this blueprint for turtle. Um, I want to show you one more thing. If you hold down the control key and then you click on forward, you see it jumps over here to forward. So let's do that for another yurtle command. Type yurtle dot turn right. And then hold down the control key and click turn right. And you see now in turtle dot java it's jumped down to the turn right command. All right, well let's add our own command. So here inside command test, I'm gonna make a command that will make yurtle draw a square. So I'll type yurtle dot draw square and then you know, all the commands have this open closing parentheses, so you got to put that. So it's highlighting in red because turtles don't have a draw square command, but we're going to make them have a draw square command. So here's what you're going to do. On the right hand side in turtle, let's go to the very, very bottom. So see how it looks like there's this whole list of public void pen up, public void pen down, public void set x. So each of these is another command that the turtle can do, each one of these. So we're going to add our own command right here at the bottom of the list. So after set color, but before the closing brace, let's type our own. Public void draw square. Don't forget to have your parentheses. Don't forget to have an opening brace and a closing brace. And don't forget that this has to be exactly the same as what you're trying to do over here. All right, so inside here, this is what the computer is going to do when we try and have yurtle draw a square. So let's do the regular turtle commands. I'll say forward 30, turn right 90, and then I want to do that four times. So you could either make a for loop if you want to, or you could just copy and paste it three more times. All right, so these are the turtle commands that will make the turtle actually draw a square. And if you go over here, you'll notice that it doesn't seem like it's worked because there's still red underlining here. What's actually happening, do you see where my cursor is? There's this little asterisk right next to the star character right next to turtle. That means we didn't save turtle. 
So click back in Turtle and hit Control S to save it. Uh, and now everything seems like it's working and it knows draw a square. Here's a way to prove to yourself that it knows what draw a square is. Hit the Control key and click draw a square. And there you go, the computer's jumped here. So you, you see they're connected. When you try and run draw a square, it's gonna run these commands. All right, so let's run command test and see if it works. So I'm gonna run it as an application. And it's a little bit faint, but it looks like I've gone forward and I've turned right by 30 and now I've drawn this square here. If you want to, let's do this. Let's draw a bunch of squares in a row. So I'll go forward 30 and draw square and I'm gonna do that three times. So when I run it, great, now I've done it three times. So you see it's really powerful to add a new command because it, it enlarges the number of things that you can do. As a test for yourself, why don't you add another command called draw triangle. So we wanna say yurtle.draw triangle and have that actually draw a triangle. So do the exact same steps that we just did, add another commands to turtle over here that will draw a triangle, and then come back next time to see how to make the commands more flexible.